All right, I'm going to David Dobrik's new spot, Dobrik's Pizza, tonight. What time is it? It's 12, 15, Thanksgiving just ended. We're going into Black Friday. I looked it up and it actually opened 4 p.m. It's closing at 2 a.m. I'm gonna check it out. Hopefully the crowd's low and I'm gonna let you guys know what I think. And when I get back, I'm gonna audit the website and let's check out the entire function behind the brand. All right, so what's your expectations tonight for David's Pizza and uh, what would make it score a 10 out of 10 for you? Uh, as a creator, influencer driven brand, I'm always curious and excited to see what kind of avenues they take and their approach on differentiating from the big boys. I am hoping for a slice that is full of quality ingredients. I saw their slices has like a ton of pepperoni on it and I hope that pepperoni on that slice is top tier quality or else the pizza is not going to be good. Also, I'm, a, I'm really excited because I saw they have a token that it's like an incentive to purchase. Once you make a purchase, you get a token. You can either submit that token for a free scoop of ice cream or insert that into a wall and it plays a disco party for 10 seconds. It's a part of David's personality and you get to enjoy it as a customer. So let's see. All right, we're actually at the next day. If you guys see the video on the screen right now, I started recording once we got there yesterday. I ended up clicking two times slow-mo. So the audio cut out, I'm in slow-mo, but sad news. David Dobrik's restaurant was closed. The ad was false. I checked it out online. Look at the screenshot right now. I checked it out. They showed Thanksgiving Day. They're going to be open 4 p.m. to 2 a.m. They had the day switched around. When I got there, looked inside, completely empty. I even parked, went to the building. Super sad. It's the next day right now. We're going to go check it out. That's critique number one. I'm not going to let that get it down. So let's go check out the pizza. Update. I'm about a mile away from Dobrik's. The parking was absurd. The line is actually super long and we got a wild walk now. Slices stacked on top of each other, some grease coming out the top of the box. I like the pepperoni. There's a lot of pepperoni, small pieces. I'm curious to try the quality, but it looks very thick. The side and the crust is very seasoned well. I'm curious to see for the price point. We will review prices later when we audit the website. Another critique, we got two pepperoni and a spicy vodka. We ended up getting four slices. They left out the spicy vodka. That's actually why Justin came here is to try the spicy vodka. So that's one critique. Slices were wrong. Other than that, let's try it out. All right, here we go. Taste reveal. David Dobrik's trying out the pepperoni. This actually looks really good. Let's try it out. Whoa. Okay. First bite was full of pepperonis. Right at the front, I had about eight pepperonis. I'm tasting a pepperoni right now. I don't taste pizza. One second. Oh my gosh. Pepperoni's pretty good. I would say standard. Let's see crust. That's where Dobrik's wins. Right here, the outer shell, it's seasoned with, it looks like some butter, cooked with a nice crust. Other than that, pepperoni is very standard. I get this a nice seven, seven out of 10. Not a bad slice though. Price point, let's go review it. I do have to mention something that I respect about their customer service there is they actually, when they gave us the wrong order, they let us keep that fourth slice and added the additional correct slice in another box. So for the price of three slices, we got five. Great deal, great service. All right guys, well, we made it back. I enjoyed that slice of pepperoni. It was pretty good. There's a nice honey glaze on top that kind of complemented uh, some of the spiciness that was coming off of uh, the pepperoni. As I mentioned, the crust was great. I'm a huge fan of that. Only critique I would have uh, additional is some of the dough is a little bit too much. It's almost like you're eating a loaf of bread where it's too thick, but that might be the approach they're taking. Here it is, the pizza box. I like the display here. Um, if you are visiting as a tourist coming into LA, take this back as a souvenir if your carry-on allows. All right, Dobrik's typed it in. First up, we have their Instagram, we have Yelp. I've been hearing that it's actually difficult to find. It's not on the directly on the top of the page, but here it is. So it looks like there's a lot of content. Of course, it's David, and here it is. So get on there immediately, a pop-up, 10% off your merch purchase. So as you know, David's, a lot of his revenue in the past has been built off of his merch strategy. 
uh, doing the vlogs and then pushing towards his merch. So you can see that resembled here. 10% off your merch, sign up with your email. I'm gonna sign up just so we can see what kind of email I receive later as well, let's see. All right, you're in the club. And then it gives you a coupon code, a unique code. So if you guys wanna take that code, go ahead. Um, outside of that, I can see it's ran by Clavio. It's a very uh, streamlined email service that a lot of e-commerce websites also use. I'm expecting to receive an email probably within the next 30 seconds. All right, here we are, the main homepage, Dobrik's Pizza. Let's see, select your style. Let's go to Doughy and then Tavern. So Tavern is their thin style crust. Doughy is that thick crust that I ended up trying. Let's see. So they have all the options, cheese, pepperoni, meat lovers. So they, it looks like they got seven options for that. And then the Tavern, it looks, actually some different op options for the Tavern. I like that. So they, they distinct uh, different flavors towards that style. So it's more of New York, kind of Chicago style from a very doughy style. Down here, thanks for visiting our site. So the orders are only in person as of now. Um, I've been hearing some things that they are looking at possibly the expansion or franchising options. Um, personally, as I see the celebrity brand such as Dobrik's, maybe succeeding in New York, maybe Chicago as some test, but I'm not sure if they would be able to expand much more from that. These are some more uh, unique kind of tourist type spots, maybe such as like an in and out where people come and travel and they go to these places specifically for that first try. But I'm not sure if it can compete with a Pizza Hut, for example. Here we are, hours of operation. All right, they have the email. Let's see, the email's not hyperlinked. I don't like that. Our menu, pizza, and more. What's more? Let's see. Breadsticks. Okay, cool. Doughy cheese. Order in store. Let's see, does this scroll? No, I don't know why it doesn't have all of their options, which is odd, unless that's what they serve only in store. I don't, that doesn't make sense. Okay, down here, it's hyperlinked. The email's hyperlinked. Menu about. Let's go to about. Let's see if it's about David. Okay, it's about the co-founders, suburbs from Chicago, updates. Okay, cool. Continue, let's see, order, what, what is order? That probably goes to merch, let's see. So the order button's actually not working. Let's go to contact, contact works. Uh, so there, they have an error in their page. The order is not going to the correct landing page. Uh, privacy policy, that works. Terms of condition, uh, let's see. Okay, let's go to the top, let's go to merch. Here we are, merch. I would say pretty standard prices and right now there's actually a Black Friday sale. So these are actually conservative prices for um, influencer style merch. And right here they have a statement that due to high demand, they're not gonna be shipping until a later date. Let's go to the menu. Okay, here's the prices. So as you guys saw in that dance party earlier, if you buy a full pizza, you have the option to get a token where you can insert it into the wall and a dance party operates, I think it's for 20 seconds. And you also have the option to submit that token and receive a free scoop of ice cream, which as you see for these prices, 30, $32, $38, that's pretty absurd for a pizza. That's, that's very high. And for the slices, I would say cheese, that competes with, I would say other slices, uh, pizza by the slice, if you come out here in LA or New York, Say 450 is kind of average, but then it gets up to 575, 575, 550, 650. That's getting pretty high. And as the rating I gave, it's up to you. It's definitely worth a try to go try it. But I would say once they can figure out their strategy, try to cut down those prices slightly more, then you'll be able to retain those customers that visited for the first time. All right, honestly, for a brick and mortar store, the website doesn't look too bad. It's pretty interactive. There's a couple hyperlinks that are aired. Um, other than that, let's go check out my email and let's see what that first email looks like. Okay, four minutes after submitting that email request, no email has been sent. That's another critique that I'd add to this website. I know they're in the early stages, they just launched. The product's amazing, website flows pretty nice, very simple for a brick and mortar store. Other than that, retaining customers is so important. This email list is dialed in, that flow and that customer journey. I hope you guys enjoyed this review of Dobrik's Pizza. Make sure to check it out right on Sunset Boulevard. My critiques are just my thoughts coming from an e-commerce background. The website, not too much wrong with it. There's just a couple critiques that I mentioned earlier and the food itself, it's definitely worth a try, especially for your first time, it's up to you. Not exactly my style to keep going back, but some people like that and I'm excited to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments, have you tried Dobrix? Will you try Dobrix? And I'll see you guys next week.